Parallax scroll animations present one of the easiest ways to create websites that feel more alive and more interesting. But how do we recreate these effects in a design software like Figma? In this video, I will show you the two simple steps to do exactly that in under seven minutes. You can find the Figma file in the description below. Now let's waste no more time and get straight into it. Okay, friends, so we are inside of Figma. And before we get into the steps of how to do this, I just wanna quickly touch on what the parallax effect is and how you achieve it in any case, really. What you need is two or more objects. Could be a text object, could be images, could be blurs, could be rectangles, circles, it doesn't matter two or more objects that you change the position of while scrolling and you change the position of them in a random way relative to each other. So in this example, I have a bunch of images, a text object and a blur. So as we scroll, this blur is going to go from the top to the bottom. So that's one object. This text here, is going to go from the bottom to the top, another element changing. So the first one is going towards the bottom. The text is going towards the top. And then we have these square images here that are going to go outside of the frame. And then we have these circular images that are going to come from the bottom up into the frame. And as you're going to see these objects here, if we check the position of them, they're going to change position relative to each other in a random way. So we're not just going to push these outside of the frame like this, because then they change position together in a uniform way. We want them to be a bit random. So let's create a new frame and let me show you how it works practically. So I'll call this frame. I'll take this color. And I'll just copy this text element here, place that in here. I'll take the blur, place the blur like that in the top. I actually want the text object to be in the outermost top because all the other elements, all the other images are going to go beneath. The blur, though, I want to go above the images to give it some sort of a cool effect where the images kind of get faded or, or blurred out by the blur. So I'll place the images in here. I'll increase the height so we can see everything. I'll put this text layer in the top, like I said. And then I'll just duplicate this. And I'll start changing the position of elements here. So I'll take this blur, move it towards the bottom. Let's actually put this just below the parallax text here. So I'll do it the same as, sorry, I'll do the same in this frame like that so that it kind of blurs out these images, but not the text. So that's the first thing. Then I'll take these square images here I'll change the position of them a bit. So maybe this goes towards the top. Maybe this goes a bit towards the bottom. Maybe this closes up on the small image. Once that's done, I can move them outside. And if I want to move them outside of the frame without putting them outside of the frame, so I still want to have them inside of the frame if we look here, then I can move them, first start moving them, and if you want to do it in a uniform matter, you can hold down shift. So I'll first hold down shift and then I'll hold down space and I can move it outside without them actually being pushed outside of the frame. So that's the first thing. Then I can take this text, move it upwards like this. And then we can do the same with these rounded images. So I'll change the position of this, change this to that, maybe put this up like this. And then I'll just drag them up towards the top of the frame here, like this. Then we can take these two frames, drag them over here to step number two, which is where we add the drag interactions. Before we do that, I'm going to change the height of the frames to 900 so that they're actually looking like desktop frames. 
and I'll go into the first one, hit prototype, add a flow starting point, call this flow start, super random. And I just realized I forgot something. We need our little scroll bar here. So I'll go back here, copy the scroll bar, paste it in here. And by the way, you don't need a scroll bar. You can have a drag interaction just like this text could be the thing you drag, this image could be the thing you drag, but I wanna add a scroll bar just to make it a bit more realistic. So I'll copy that, bring it over here, and I'll bring it to the bottom and a few pixels up like this. Then I'll go into the scroll bar here. I'll add a drag interaction over to the second frame. Smart animate ease out is just fine. Then I'll do the same from this scroll bar back so that we can scroll it up and down. And now if I play it, I hit play, let it load for a bit. I'll hit F for full screen and I scroll and we have this beautiful parallax effect happening. Do you want to explore what other kinds of Figma animations you can create? Well, check out my playlist here where I teach everything about Figma animations. I'm sure you will find something that will help you. Now, until the next one, have a great life. We'll talk soon. Ciao.